complex fraction involving rational expressions in both the numerator and the denominator. The first step is always to rewrite this as a division problem. Remember that the fraction bar is telling me to divide. So it's the entire numerator divided by the denominator. Recall that in order to divide, we take the first rational expression, the first fraction, and multiply it by the inverse of the second. At this point, we're just working with the multiplication problem. The next step is to factor and then simplify. So for this first, for the numerator here, there's no way to factor that out. Let's go to the denominator. I have a negative here. So this becomes a plus and this is a minus. And factors of 6, 1 and 6, 2 and 3. I want factors that add up to negative 1. These two are close together. So if I take negative 3 plus 2, that equals negative 1. So my 3 is going to go by the negative. My 2 is going to go by the positive. Okay. Now to factor x squared plus x minus 12. Again, I've got a negative sign, so I'm going to do plus and minus. Factors of 12. 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. And since I want these to add up to 1, I'm going to pick the two that are close together, which are 3 and 4. And I want this to be positive, so I'm going to make the 4 positive and the 3 negative. 4 minus 3 is 1. So it's x plus 4 x minus 3, x minus 3. In the denominator, I have a common, greatest common factor of 4, so this becomes 2x minus 3, 4 times 2x minus 3. So I did my factoring, and I see here in, I have 2x minus 3 in both the numerator and the denominator. Those cancel. I don't have any common factor with x plus 4. I don't have a common fact, I do have a common factor with x minus 3, and this has no common factor. Now I multiply what's left behind. x plus 4 divided by, I have a 4 here and an x plus 2 there. Finally, I double check to make sure that there's no common factors that were missed. I cannot simplify anymore, so this is this complex fraction now in simplified form. Okay, that concludes this lesson on rational expressions, on multiplying and dividing, and I'll see you next lesson on educator.com.